What's up guys, it's Rowan here from Art of Smart TV. And with the new HSC syllabus rolling out in 2019 and 2020, uh, you know, there's lots of changes, particularly for the science curriculum. And one of the things they've introduced is something called a depth study. So in this video, what I'm gonna share with you, you know, what is a depth study? How does it relate to the new science curriculum? And how do you ace it? You know, how do you write a killer depth study that's gonna ensure that you pick up maximum marks and just ace HSC science. Let's jump in and find out what a depth study is and what you need to do to nail it. What on earth is a depth study? Well look, it's a fancy name for basically saying that you get to choose you know, a, a topic, an area of interest within a module or across modules in the science syllabus and actually dive in deeper and do some research relating to that and actually learn more about that deeper concept or idea. Now this applies for all the new sciences, so physics, chemistry, biology, investigating science, earth and environmental science. Now, there's a couple of cool things though about this. The first is that you've got a lot more flexibility you get to choose something you're interested in and depending on your school this could be one single task or it could be a task that's broken up throughout the year in smaller subtasks so there's a lot more flexibility and it's going to feel a little bit more like you're at university which is pretty cool the second thing here is that you're going to need to do two depth studies you're going to need to do one in year 11 uh, which is 15 hours long and then one in year 12 which is another 15 hours in length so you're going to need to do two over the course of years 11 and year 12, which will roughly take a 30 hour time commitment. Why are depth studies actually a good thing? Right? You might be thinking it sounds like extra work, but honestly, they're a great thing because number one, it gives you a different way to showcase your knowledge. Uh, you know, it may be short answer style, exam, time pressure assessments are not your forte and strength. So this is gonna give you a different assessment type where you can really showcase your skills in a different way and, and pick up hopefully more marks through a depth study. Additionally, it's also a great way to do a deeper dive into an area that you're interested in and, and have a little bit of fun, get creative. So it's, it's perhaps the more flexible part of the, the science course for years 11 and 12. So it's also going to be a lot of fun uh, to dive in and actually you know, go deeper on an area of interest. And finally, the other reason why it's really great is that it also really helps you build strong foundations of knowledge, which is gonna help uh, you know, if you're doing it in year 11, for year 12, but of course, it's also much more similar to the university experience. And so it's also gonna be equipping you with some of the skills that you will need as you go to university. So that's why depth studies are actually a good thing. Uh, the thing we've got to think about though, well, what are the different types of depth studies that you could actually do? And there's a couple that I'm gonna run through with you now. So the first one is a primary or practical investigation. Essentially, what you get to do here is you get to conduct an experiment, which is pretty cool. You have a hypothesis and you've got to conduct an experiment, uh, you know, collect data to uh, validate and inform whether or not that hypothesis was correct. It's a bit of fun. That's the first one. The second one that you could do is a secondary investigation. This can take a bunch of forms. It could be, for example, a literature review where you're looking at a lot of the literature on a certain topic and, and conducting a sort of summary, so to speak. It could be that you're writing a journal article. It could be that you're creating a little documentary. So there's a lot of flexibility there. You know, the third thing that you could do is you could conduct some field work. And, and this overlaps quite closely with you know, doing a, a practical or primary investigation, but this is going out into the field and you know, um, collecting data, for example. And so often that'll blur with the first one. And then the final example of one that you could do is some data analysis. And this is where, you know, again, this blurs a little bit more with the, the secondary investigation where you might've looked at you know, a literature review and found all this data that exists and you wanna look at it or use it in a different way and, and do some analysis, draw some insights from it and present it you know, in diagrams and graphs that maybe show something interesting. So they're just a couple of different ways that your depth study could take form. Uh, ultimately, the great part about it is you get to choose which one you want to use based on your own interests, your own strengths and skills that you want to develop. So how can you ace your depth study for sciences? Well, there's three simple things that you can do. 
The first thing is you've got to keep the syllabus outcomes in mind. Ultimately, that's what you're being assessed on. So the biggest recommendation we have is that as you're doing your depth study, go to the working scientifically skill section of the syllabus and make sure that you're actually nailing some of those syllabus dot points because they're the really critical ones that you're being assessed on for your depth study. So that's step number one. Step number two is to actually be creative. It's an opportunity in science for you to get a little creative, to, to look at existing things and express them in new or different ways. So as you're thinking about maybe the, the form of your depth study, whether or not it's a practical investigation or whether or not you're doing you know, a, a literature review or maybe you're doing something more exciting than that, get creative, right? It doesn't need to be an amazing, incredible idea. It can be about how you express it. And in fact, it's a great opportunity to be creative uh, in this part of the science course. You may not get the opportunity later on in the course, so it is a great place if you've got some creativity in your body to let it loose here in this section. Now, the third and final tip to really ace your depth study is to focus. Like, ultimately, you want to be really focused in your depth study. It's an opportunity to go deep into a topic. Uh, you know, the rest of the course is, you know, in some ways a little bit more about breath, right? It's about covering a broad range of key ideas. But right here, right now in your depth study, it's your opportunity to dig deep into an area that you're interested in learning and understanding more about. So be really focused in your depth study. One of the really big mistakes that we see with students with depth study, um, and in fact really any sort of major work-esque type project across other subjects as well is a lack of focus, right? The questions and the, the hypothesis are too broad um, and so it means that you don't have you know, as interesting outcomes um, in the work that you're doing. So critically, be really focused, make sure that you've got a really tight area that you're working on for your depth study. If you do that, it will mean that you'll be able to get you know, better validation, better data, uh, more interesting data as well to say something meaningful at the end of your depth study. So there you have it guys, three simple tips to ace your depth study. Number one, keep the syllabus in mind at all times. Number two, be creative, have some fun. And number three, always, always make sure that you focus. So, to conclude guys, if you have found this video helpful, make sure you hit subscribe. We do videos every single week, um, and so that way you can see us next week with more awesome advice, be it from how to ace the science syllabus for the new syllabus, or whether or not it's about actually helping you learn how to study more effectively. If you have any questions about depth studies and the new science syllabus as well, leave it below. One of our incredible team uh, will get back to you and answer you to help you get confident for this new syllabus. I will see you next week.